I have often used a direct glue method using an acrylic glue to glue on different types of shoes. However, I was working on a horse that needed an indirect glue method, so I glued on a sigifus cuff to a freedom shoe, a ground off the rim, but the back of its foot was really tender and I wanted to be able to have a shoe that while it had good mechanics, I also needed soft material in the back of the shoe. This shoe led me to multiple different ways of thinking about how I go about shoe a horse. And while this worked for this horse and this package, I still wanted some other ways. Here's a EDSS uh, clog, and I wanted an indirect glue method. I had been gluing it on directly, so I welded on some Easy Care cuffs, and this has been an awesome way of doing an indirect glue method using acrylic glue of attaching the EDSS clogs. Super great option. Another great option that I have found is actually just gluing directly the VersaGrip lights directly to the sole. And I don't do this often, but it's a method that works well. I've also done it with a VersaGrip nail-on shoe. One of the ways that I've been able to add extra mechanics into the shoe is welding in a double nail pad plug into the VersaGrip shoes or VersaGrip lights. What this allows me to do is to add extra mechanics to the shoe without the shoe wearing out. This has been a really neat technique. Uh, I can take this and weld on some cuffs, glue it on directly, indirectly, put it on a nail-on shoe, multiple options here. Double nail pads are one of my favorite things to have in my toolbox. They give you so many different options. This horse had a severe injury to its deep digital flexor tendon and at the vet clinic this is the apparatus we came up with. We nailed on a hard double nail pad and then we used the urethane wedges to come up with the desired mechanics needed. So most of the time I'm able to nail on a shoe and have no problem uh, in my daily work attaching shoes with nails. It is probably 90% of my practice when I come to attaching a shoe is nailing it on. However, once in a while we need to be able to glue something on. So being able to use a cuff using super glue for an indirect glue or whether you're using acrylic glue to do a direct glue, there are so many different options. In this situation I used a urethane glue to glue uh, a wedge pad to a Versa glue and then I was able to grind in the desired mechanics for the shoe and then be able to glue it on. There's so many different options when you use indirect glue methods with composite shoes. You are able to add and subtract material uh, as many different ways as you can think of. Hope this gives you some creative ideas. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. Uh -huh.